Hello, welcome to episode 213 of the Epic Film Challenge. I'm still in the same t-shirt. And uh, this is Bridge on the River Kwai. Another Sony Collector's Edition. Wow, what a film. Uh, this stars Alec Guinness as Colonel uh, Nicholson. And um, it's fantastic, it's such a good film. It's about a group of British prisoners of war. Uh, in a Japanese uh, camp, not a Japanese guy, it's run by a Japanese guy and uh, there's Japanese guys, there. it's in Siam and the, the prisoners are, be, are given the task of building a bridge um, on the River Kwai to link a railroad that um, goes through, I don't know where, <laughs> but it goes through somewhere <laughs> uh, but it's a, three hour, it's a three hour film nearly so, you know, cut me a break get off my back, Jesus uh, anyway it's uh yes, yeah, but that is about that basically. But like, uh, there's also a, an American soldier in the camp, and he escapes early on in the film, and you kind of get like two, basically two storylines running uh, with each other. The film starts off, and um, Alec Guinness, who plays Nicholson, brilliant. He won the best act, best actor for this role. And I can see why. He's amazing. And the first hour of this film is basically a power struggle between Nicholson and. Um, uh, General Sato, who's the guy who runs the, the camp. It's not like a concentration camp or anything, they just make them work. And um, Sato is adamant that all the officers will also do manual labor and help build this bridge. And Nicholson's like, hang on a minute, the G Geneva Convention says officers are not supposed to work manual labor when they've been captured. Sato's having none of it because he's got orders from higher up to get this bridge finished on time, so he's like, stuck in a hard place even though he's not exactly the nicest guy and so he gets Nicholson beat up and thrown into um, what they call the oven which is like a metal box uh, out in the sun with no water or food or anything and Nicholson just does not give in um, and it's just it's compelling viewing because you just want to see who's going to give in first it's such a great power struggle uh, two really proud men who just won't give in and the culmination of that like it's probably the closest I've been to crying during a film, like, in years. But it wasn't like a bad crying, it was like a happy one. It was like, such a well done thing. It was like, built up over an hour, really, like, uh, and then it just, this, uh, and then, you know, I was like, God, this is an hour into the film, this is amazing, what else is going to happen? And then the, the next half of the film is kind of um, Nicholson kind of taking control of, the, of the, the building of the bridge and taking pride in it and having all his men really commit to it and not try and sabotage the bridge or make a shoddy bridge which was what was normally happen happening but he was like you know if we're here we're gonna we're gonna do things the British way and we're gonna do it with pride and we're gonna build a great bridge and he just goes to Sato and he's like right you've been doing this wrong we're gonna move the bridge <laughs> and Sato is just like you know just silent just saying fine you know just his, his pride's been destroyed by this point actually actually um I'll get to it at the end um and then you get the American guy who's escaped from the camp. He's um, he believes he's going home, and then they find out that he's not actually an officer, and that he faked it so that he could have special treatment. So they actually send him back in to um, to the River Kwai to blow up the br the, uh, the bridge that they're building. So you got these two things: you got the destruction and the construction uh, storylines running. Uh, you know that lead to this amazing climax that was just. And just re so well done, you know. And I was figuratively on the edge of my seat for like the last 25 minutes of the film. Um, one of my favorite parts of this film was when the bridge is completed and Alec Guinness is walking along, just surveying his work, and and Sato comes up, and it's kind of that moment where you're expecting, you know, are they gonna say they respect each other or, you know, they're gonna have a moment and they kind of don't, but they do at the same time, and it's really well done. And Alec Guinness just kind of talks about how. You know, he's been in the service for like nearly 30 years and he realises that, you know, it's times like this where you think that you're, you're nearer to the end than you are the beginning and, you know, what does a man leave behind after he's gone and he's kind of talking about the bridge and it's obvious that the building of this bridge has meant more to him than it should and, um, but it's such a, a common thing, I think, I think a lot of people, or most people I do, think about, you know, what, 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 what am I going to leave behind when I'm gone? And uh, it touched a, like a, a nice kind of raw nerve that I think can connect with a lot of people, which is why it's just such a great scene. And the end of the film was fantastic. 
10 out of 10. It's gone straight in my top 10 favourite lists of all time. Really, really love this film and I definitely recommend you watch it. It also won the Oscar for the best film, the best director, you know, enough said basically. Uh, and then I'm just going to give you like a bit of a spoiler here. So if you want to finish watching, that's fine. Thank you for watching. Um, when I mentioned that, that first hour that builds up and the power struggle between Nicholson and Sato, what happens is basically Sato calls in Nicholson and says, this is the, the day's the anniversary of when we won this war in like 1902 or something. Um, so there's going to be an amnesty and the officers won't, won't work manual labor. And he says it with a smile on his face like he's doing Nicholson a favor. And Nicholson leaves and all his troops are just like, they just storm him because they're like, he's done it, he's beaten Sato and, you know, uh, the power of the wills has ended. And it's such a powerful scene and then you see Sato in his bedroom crying his eyes out because he's had to do it and he's had to give in. I just thought, wow, such a great moment. And I think it turned out maybe that was probably the the peak of the film for me in terms of like getting emotionally involved in it. But the ending is just fantastic. It's just, oh, you got to see it. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. <laughs>